even think I was gonna be a barber at first. Like it was, I had no plan out of high school. Getting let go from different jobs, it just forced me to like enroll in barber school, and then and then I took it serious because like, I was like, ain't no way I'm gonna like eat if I don't take it serious. Ain't no way I'm gonna get better if I don't take it serious. So. When he started, he was telling me he's like, Mom, I'm not gonna be able to to do hair because. My hands are not uh, moving. I'm not, I can't move my hands in it. And then I was telling him, I said, you know what? It takes practice. Everything what we do, it takes practice to get there. My name is Adrian Gonzalez. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I work at Gold's Barbershop. How's next week looking for you, uh, Adrian? Looking good. Uh, yeah. Busy, as usual. I met with Javi. That, like when I was in high school still, like around 2017. And he was actually my barber. Before I met him, I was cutting, but I, like, I didn't tell him at first I was cutting hair. And then eventually when I got cool with him, I told him I started cutting hair. And then he, you know, he said I was, I was kind of decent. When I first noticed him, I, I, I seen him in his haircut. So he's, he really put every detail on the blend, on the lining, even on the color, everything that he uses, he just really takes his time and you can definitely tell. He loves what he do. Javi is a mentor because he's doing everything the right way from like opening up a shop, having a nice house, family. Yeah, he's doing everything how I want to do, do it in the future. What's up, my boy? Good, bro. How you feeling? I'm good, you? I'm good. Same cut? Yeah, same cut. Like when my friend Malik had told me like Adrian cutting hair, I was like a little skeptical. I'm like, Adrian cutting hair? Like, cause he never told nobody about it. Like every time I leave the chair, like I, I get the feeling good about myself. I instantly go, as soon as I leave the bar, so I instantly hop on Snapchat. And seeing them come back all the time, like, you know, it felt good. Cause you know, these guys I went to school with. Like, he told me to download the cut app. I'm like, man, I gotta go to an app. But then when I had downloaded it, I'm like, oh, this very, this was simple. Like it was organized. You just got the days, the times. And then he responds to you on there. One of my guys actually started using the cut and was telling us about it. But, uh, you know, we were still working off our phones, like putting stuff in our notes. So, like, I just tell everybody, I send them the link. Like, hey, this is, you know, this is what I'm using. I like how, like, it keeps track of everybody, everybody's name, like their, uh, their past, like previous times they came. Uh, it keeps me organized. I say without it, like, I would have like a lot of anxiety, like overthinking or overbooking as well. It'd be crazy, like like a far location, like somebody will find me on the cut. Like some guys up north from Chicago, like 40 minutes out, they'll find me on the cut. It's really easy using the app. I feel like it's way easier than, than calling or, or texting sometimes because I'm busy, you know. We'll just go through. Pick what kind of cut style I want, select a time and day, and it's easy. He just either confirms or denies it. It's easy, man. The cut brought me to like the next level. Them sharing my work, you know, promoting me. It really put me in a good position because there's a lot of young barbers nowadays. I really want to like motivate. It's not just cutting hair. It's not just you in the shop, just posting pictures. There's more to it. There's more exposure on the internet. I try to like motivate all my friends here. Just post a picture, post a haircut. You know, cause some of them, they don't post their haircut, you know, cause you don't, you never know who's watching. You never know who's looking at your work. Yeah, man, I got some time Saturday, just going to cut. Uh, you'll be able to see times there. I'm still, I'm still learning. I still got a lot to learn. I just look at myself like, okay, I'm, I'm good right now, but just wait a couple months later next year or a couple years, I'm gonna be better than I was. I just stay motivated. I stay hungry. You, you can never like stop learning from being a barber.